Hello, how's it going? Today we're going to check out the Rare Beauty Primer. Let me get you the full name before I mess it up already. Say hello to the puppy in the background. <laughs> Hi, puppy. He's so sleepy today. It's very cold and icy here in Denver today, so he is just not wanting to do anything, which I'm kind of on the same level, but I thought I'd jump on here and do a little review. So this is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Pore Diffusing Primer. It says the highlights are liquid formula, matte finish. See, so that's what caught me. Good for pores, hyaluronic acid, vegan. Uh, it says what it is, a hydrating cushiony gel primer that blurs the look of pores, fine lines, boosts, extends makeup wear, and helps fight shine all day. Skin type, normally oily, dry combination, uh, concerns oil and pores. Highlighting ingredients, hyaluronic acid, hydrates and conditions, green tea extract helps soothe and calm skin. Vitamin E protects skin from environmental stressors. Ingredient callouts free of parabens, formaldehydes, releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oils, and retinol palmitate. I don't know what that is. It's also vegan and cruelty free. We love that. What else do you need to know? Great alone or under makeup, this lightweight plush gel primer helps absorb shine visibly evens out skin texture and smooths away the look of pores quickly with a soft focus effect. It is made with hyaluronic acid and also soothes while providing lasting hydration so skin stays comfortable all day under makeup. Clinical results, an independent super study of 65 women, 100% said it minimizes and smooths away the look of pores. 100% said it helps fight shine and extends foundation wear all day. 98% said it blurs the look of fine lines. How to use, let's go ahead and re read this. Apply one to two pumps to clean, moisturize skin, blend it in with fingers, then follow with foundation or concealer. Always an optimist, pore diffusing primer can also be layered over your makeup in textured areas for an extra smooth effect. Going makeup free, wear primer alone for a smooth finished look. So this has a lot of claims, like <laughs> all makeup does, right? Uh, I have been trying this out for a couple days, but I wanted to pop on camera. We're going to, obviously we read about it and we got the full rundown of what this is supposed to do. We're gonna put it on the face and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So it comes in this plasticky bottle. Uh, it looks like it's got a, I don't know if you can see this, you can see the space in between here. I think it's a, um, I think it's one of those vacuum seal pumps, I think. So you're gonna get every last drop. So A plus for that. It's got a pump on it and I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand. So this is what it looks like. It's a very clear gel. See? Doesn't smell like really anything, it just smells really fresh. So yeah, that's the product. Let's go ahead and apply it to the face and then we'll get to my thoughts on the product. So we're just gonna do a couple of pumps here. I think that's a lot. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and rub it in between our fingers and then just start applying. I think all over the face. Now, I will say that this does feel very nice. It feel it's like a gel moisturizer feeling almost. I'm just gonna rub that all in the skin. And then I'm probably gonna be all red from rubbing it all over my face. But I think that's part of the process, right? And all I've done before this was, I just got out of the shower, I did my hair, and then I did the drunk elephant. And you really need to figure out what that Moisturizer is called, it's the thicker one, it's the one in the purple pump thing, so. Okay, so we have it applied. Let's see how it looks. Um, so yeah, on initial application, it does seem like it blurs just a little bit and makes the skin look nice. I'll give you guys a close up. So yeah, it makes the skin look okay. I'm gonna give you my thoughts now on this. So I've been trying this for a couple of days. It is not for me. It definitely does not hold up the claims of claims of mattifying. That is really what I need because I have oily, you know, I have oily combo skin. So it's oily and dry at the same time, somehow. I am blessed. But so I've been looking for a matte primer and this one is not mattifying at all. I look like a total grease ball throughout the day and I have to keep powdering, keep powdering, keep powdering. I really don't feel like it blurs too much. Like it doesn't, like I, I feel like it just doesn't do much, honestly. Like it feels nice. It's, let's see how much this is. It's $26 for the full one. The small one is $14. So it's not cheap. 
I was expecting a little bit more from this than, especially with all the claims that it was making, than I think that I got out of it. So those are my final thoughts. If you have drier skin, this probably would work well for you. Um, if, you have, if you're younger and you have pretty good skin and you don't need too much uh, blurring and you have moisturized skin, I think that this might be good for you, but I don't know because I don't have dry skin, so I'm just guessing on that. So this Rare Beauty uh, pore diffusing primer is going to be a pass for me, unfortunately. I had high hopes for it. So anyway, there is my review on it. Uh, if you like this review, hit that subscribe button so you can check out the rest of my reviews. I have a lot coming up. And if you need real estate help in Colorado, I'm your man. I'm a full-time real estate agent in the real world. All my contact information is down below. I'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for joining me on this one, and I will check you on the next one. Bye.